Hey guys, welcome to another Guyver Gaming TV video. Today, Sniper Elite 3 Africa. So, we're going against the Africa Corps, the Battle Horde Germans, and in this Sniper Elite, as you see, graphics massive overhaul. Looks very, very nice indeed. Options wise, you've got the same as always subtitles, enemy subs, blah 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 blah. Um, bullet cameras I have increased because I love watching it so I have that all up uh, display wise is your usual I have it on ultra settings but you can go in advanced and tinker with whatever else you want hmm. super sampling well, I have a 6 core processor but I'll leave it off for now um, my PC runs fine with it on ultra it doesn't have any bother with it whatsoever um, your resolutions go to whatever you can handle really. Uh, 1920 by 1080 is the maximum I can see, so that's what I've got it on. Otherwise, music, speech and sound effects, just the standard things for that light. And then your controls, you've got your inverts and auto reload, which I actually really don't use that often anyways because I reload it before I'm out. Uh, mouse and key bindings, so you can change all key bindings in here which is really handy uh, you've also got a controller layout in case you use a controller but to be honest anybody playing this on a PC with a controller is a muppet in my opinion it's a first person shooter mouse and keyboard all the way in my book so you've got multiplayer I'm not gonna get in that because I never do multiplayer in these games uh, snapper v snapper nah, it's boring uh, the challenges are Solo survival. Which it says at the bottom there, you just go up against waves and waves of enemy. I actually did that in um, Sniper Elite V2 on my laptop because it was quite fun. And then you've got co op survivals and a um, sniper and spotter missions. So that's quite cool. Loadouts. You can modify the loadout of your weapon. Um, oops. So if we go edit, you can change weapons. Now I'm not going for that because the uh, muzzle velocity and damage is a hell of a lot lower. Oh, to be honest, I want the Lee Enfield, but uh, I'm using the Kakano at the minute because it's quite a nice weapon. You can customize your rifle with different bits and parts um, that you unlock throughout the game via either finding them on dead bodies or I think through a point system I have very little unlock for this weapon at the minute but you see they're all very handy and you can also change uh, your pistol but it's I always have the silenced one because I need it because I'm useless. Um, you can also change out your loadout so on the piercing rounds, uh, standard mines, trip mines, land mines, dynamite, your grenades, and your usual med kits and whatnot. And you can have a fair few of these Alpha through Delta. So, depending on the mission, you can have different little setups for each one. Um, I just usually swap out what I'm using in a minute. You've got your service record, which will be your kill scores and whatnot. Leaderboards for online options and extras. If you hit campaigns, you can obviously do your new one. And there's downloadable missions as well, which you get uh, as part of the pack if you did it early. Um, I'm not going to do them until I've gone through the game once. Uh, and then see what they are. I think it's the uh, Hunting Hitler one, I think. Um, I have it on cadet settings for difficulty at the minute just because I want to get through the game see what it's like uh, obviously do this video without getting nailed too many times and see what the story is like uh, Snapper Elite V2 I played through a couple of times actually and there's a few levels that I really really enjoyed playing so I went back and played over them time and time again so I'm planning on doing the same with this because so far I'm having fun with it uh, as you see I'm near on 5 hours in um, 
and it is fun. The levels are fairly good. They're large, with plenty of places to sneak around and shoot from and whatnot. And the cover system is pretty good, but we're going to have them against a game. As you see, you have collectibles in the game as always. Um, so it's going to be interesting going through and getting all of these again. So if we hit the continue campaign, let's get into. Uh, Valen's notebook has revealed see. the location of his personal HQ, an outpost in a mountain pass. Early recon shows a large force stationed here, and the tank wrecks suggest a Tiger division may be operating in the area. The intros are pretty good today, the briefings Valen that you get. must be paranoid about security. After the betrayal in Siwa, it's probably justified. Though it makes the task of infiltrating his HQ and tracking him down a little more challenging. He set up shop in the ruins of an ancient monument dug into the mountain As wall. As you can see there, the maps are fairly slowly big and spread out. Pass. But it looks like my rifle Some missions are urban environments, and some missions lines. are in canyons and whatnot, you are in Africa. Bring some landmines. Maybe have Brower spot targets for me too. He's a worthy accomplice with a good eye for trouble. So again, you can change a lot of that just before you go in. Um, you can swap the difficulty out before you go into fighting as well. So I like them little loading screens; they're pretty cool. But it loads that quick, you don't get to see them. Take the high road. You can spot targets for me. No going back now. Getting cold feet. What in this heat? Hardly. Jolly good show, chaps. I can see plenty of work for a sniper. Good. So vehicles wise, you can actually blow them up now um, by hitting the engines, and it'll do one of the slow mo things for the engine as well. Uh, story is though that snipers have apparently been doing this before. Uh, this is obviously later in the war, so they've got armor-plated uh, grills on. So, in this occasion, if you have armor piercing rounds, you can go through them. Again, the sound thing at the top there was for muzzling your uh, rifle whenever you fire it, so if you see that wee sound bar, it's a good chance to fire, because that way you'll uh, suppress the sound of your weapon. Again, they react to sound and whatnot, the bad guys, so it's, it's sometimes fairly difficult to do things. You've just got to think about it a bit more. As you see from the map, it is fairly large. Snap points there, there, and there. And there are uh, special positions that you get extra points for. For getting into, and uh, they're actually really good, usually, for snapping out of. So, this guy's not usually with you. You usually use your own Beanox for spotting, so I'm hoping I can use them in a bit. But yeah, I think he's going to come in handy. So... Just sneak up behind this guy. So don't mess around with the takedowns in this. Don't be his backside over here somewhere. Chucking behind the rocks, actually. The old to spot stuff, he doesn't spot everything. And we have secondary objectives on the map now. So, take out the rocket launchers, which is there and there. So, you can choose to do these if you want. Um, all it does is really give you more points at the end, so you level quicker and you can get a little bit of Or something on one side of that, so I can 
can do is just wait for the aircraft to come over again. I can hopefully hit that barrel. It'll muzzle my gunshot, but it'll put their attention over there to where the explosion was. At least that's what I'm hoping. Still got the focus time as well. Still got your grenades and rocks and all that lot, but it's all in the queue menu now, which I think is pretty handy. A lot easier than it was last time of messing around with all the keys and whatnot. And again, you can still go pro. If I'm half coming, I'm going to take it out because it's a sniper. Taking it. You can run in guns blazing and whatnot, but it's not as fun. Just sneaking around and trying to do stuff. As you can see, the maps are fairly large, and they do look really nice. So there's plenty of places to hide, just a place to get to. Not for them two spits will come over again in a minute. There are other ways of masking your sounds. There are um, generators and stuff knocking around the uh, the maps. Give them a quick quick or an elbow and it sabotages them and they'll pop bang and fall all day long. And uh, disguise your uh, shots. The large generators only do it for a certain amount of time and then they shut off. So you've got to pick your uh, opportunity with them ones. But the little ones tend to go for quite well. Spits come back soon because that sniper needs to be taken out before I can move down the map. Reticles and stuff before you can get different ones on. And I'm only on cadet at the minute, so I don't have to, to raise the target for bullet drop or anything like that, but later on, they will have to come. <laughs> bullet time is awesome. And as you can see, it's even more graphic this time. stuff on it which is really cool.
So you can vault stuff if you have got your prone, which comes in really handy as well. And you can also bound up these walls now as well. So it gives you a little bit more freedom around the maps. And it gives you opportunities to gain to different positions around the enemy. Whereas before it was a little bit linear in the older ones, whereas this one it does give you a tiny bit more freedom to get around and find stuff. And uh, also find other um, Snap positions or extra points for guns and things like that. So it is really fun that, in that sense. So the cover system is quite handy. You can use it to your advantage. So if you get you can get spotted on purpose. At which point you can set up a wee booby trap. So you can sneak out and get spotted on purpose, put your booby trap down and then go back, uh, fall back into a different position and you see that way the uh That's loud enough to cover my right Sabotage it. They won't hear my shots with that noise. See that sabotage it now, so you'll hear it in a minute. Now that won't stay like that for a long time. It will do it for a while. It'll give me an opportunity to take out some of these guys without them knowing where I am. So as you can see, it's very graphic with bullet time stuff. As you see, that doesn't last that long, it does break, but the smaller ones do seem to last a longer time. There's that lorry again, so I'm hoping I can get to a position to show you. A uh, take down of the vehicle. find extra ammo and whatnot which is really handy and sometimes you'll find a wee uh, message it's just little collectibles you find and just add a little bit of story to the game which is pretty cool there's apparently a snap position on top of this building so See if I can get to it without being spotted. I'll be up here. Now it's at the point where these guys are far enough away I don't need to leave the booby trap, but you can trap behind you. There's another we your letter that you can give a quick read. Pause it if you want to read that. So 
this is the sniper's nest. Which, for some weird reason, is this window. Which I don't see as a good sniper's nest, do I? Mean. We can tell this guy's position. I've noticed you can go through tents, so if you spot a guy and he goes into a tent, your round will go through that tent. We know where I am, so we take out the problem. And you can take the spinal column down, all your lung and heart shots are still in there as well. So now there's a guy coming this way, so I need to get out of here. And you see it gives me a warning thing on the screen, which gets me out of the danger area. So now that guy's firing where I was, not where I am. Just like the old one. So if I can get down here, maybe get into one of these other buildings. So now I could have set a booby trap up there. But I didn't want to risk being there too long. See, as you see, he's now gone upstairs. You're seeing I've had a booby trap that. I could have nailed him on his way down. And there's another guy going up top. So I'm going to stay over here. Until they finish the search. So they'll go back to the patrol areas now, or you know, slightly modified patrol area. Saying it's all clear. So I could reposition back there, or go and choose somewhere else. If I'd have booby trapped it, then you know that would have got the suspicion again. So he's still suspicious, but he's an officer. Now officers have a uh, better perception, so they c they'll spot you easier than the other guys will. But you see, they're wandering back now, still a bit suspicious. And if you have binoculars on, you can see their suspicion. Um, but you can continue the game now, no bother. Uh, maybe even set up another area. Um, put a booby trap down, get your flint and whatever out and make a bit of smoke and they'll go and investigate it and that will set the booby trap off and then they'll go and nose you over somewhere else while you reposition so the cover system's pretty cool and uh, you know the way the troops react is pretty good as well so that's a quick look at uh, the game guys I don't want to show you too much because this is one of the levels uh, I think it's like mission 4 or 5 or something like that so I don't want to show you too much. So there's no time limits on any of these. You can go through as quickly as you want or as slowly as you want. Um, you can never be detected. You don't even have to, you know, shoot tons of people. You can sneak through and just kill the one guy that you need to kill, and then just you know sneak out again. Um, so some of them are really good. Uh, highly recommended. If you like the the old Snapper Elite V2 or the original Snapper Elite, then you're definitely gonna love this one because everything's just turned up that extra notch or two 
So guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, chuck a wee uh, comment down below if you have any. Give us a thumbs up, uh, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel, you'll get updates of any other videos that I throw up. Um, there should be another Planet Side one coming up soon, as well as other stuff. Uh, like all my pages, you've got your Facebook, you've got the Twitter, you've got the Twitch stream. Uh, where they're all getting for dates and streams. And uh, I thank you for watching, guys, and see you soon.